Hey, what's up guys, this is Val. Welcome to Wet FX Deco and Shader Kit review from Kindred Arts. Now, I, I got really intrigued by this, uh, you know, shader and it says that it's, you know, um, no matter if you like your surface to be wet, soapy, foamy, slimy, milky or gooey, uh, Wet FX is for you. You can apply it to any surface. It doesn't need to be a, you know, character and it's just you know um tweak it load it tweak it and it's that easy right so i thought you know this is just a cool thing um to try out the renders look absolutely amazing you can apply it to both you know uh, characters and other props in your scene so it looks really good so i thought why not give it a try all right so I got a basic scene loaded here inside our studio with Victoria 8. Uh, some kind of basic wear, bra and panties and ponytail hair called Linda. Now, uh, the way you wanna find this is inside my library, that library preset, all right? So it goes to preset, do not go to people, go to preset, then to materials and KA wet effects deco kit. I would prefer to have it on people and inside here and inside materials. Although I understand this is not something for specifically for characters, although it works for characters. So, but this is the way I'd like to have it because this is way I normally work with, you know, um, with surfaces. But it's just a you know wish that's maybe not possible because like I said it's a standalone thing that works for any um, you know character. Having that said, you can always right click on your item, all right, and you can create a custom action at the very bottom. Having that done, it's now accessible from the main menu bar. So if you go here to uh, Windows, sorry, scripts, you can locate it here at the very bottom, uh, right here. So it's kind of easy to manage it that way. Now, I, ha I, have to, I have to be honest, I had a little bit of issues when I just started using this and I just couldn't figure it out because it lacks a video tutorial, it lacks any kind of documentation, there is not even a text file included. So I had to do a little bit of tweaking for a good 15 20 minutes until I understood how it works um, so that's a you know a small drawback there uh, so the thing is you want to first load the wet effects deco prop okay and the way it works it parents to the uh, selected item so if you have your let's say Victoria selected then you go over here and double click on it it will load onto a parent to, to Victoria. And it's very important to understand, which also took me a while to understand, it works on the parented uh, item only. So I have right now a, a bra added here and it will not add its effects onto the bra, only the Victoria 8 model. Having that said, you can drag it and put it onto the bra which will then apply that effect onto the bra. I will explain in a moment why it's not visible just yet. Um, also, if you wanna go back, just pound it back to Victoria. Now, what I had originally a little bit of kind of a struggle with this is that because this is a shader, I went immediately into the surfaces tab and started playing around here. And, you know, I thought, hey, there's no controls in here, right? So I thought maybe we can, you know, move the tile, the tiling, you know? and change that and not much happened i maybe i can move the tiles here or or move this around here like that you know and i had some little bit tweaks here changes but it wasn't the thing i wanted so let me just go back to its default setting and you know eventually i started to hmm there was some you know there was some color tints here I started to click on them and nothing happened, you know. Uh, it didn't change color. I was like, come on, this, what is this thing, you know? Until it hit me. And again, for lack of 
no, not having this video tutorial, this took me a little bit of time to get into. Uh, so I hope the uh, vendor can get back and actually do a quick tutorial on this because it is needed. It's not that easy to use until you get it and understand how it works, then it's kind of easy to use, right? So upon loading, you got this object, all right? This object wraps around, so you can go ahead and scale this object and move it. It wraps around and projects the um, textures, if you will. For instance, the uh, let's say we go and do the slimy milk thingy, all right? It projects that onto your character depending on how the cage is positioned. All right. So if I move the cage up, it will project that milky effect on top here. And what's also cool about it is that you can go now into, let's say, Victoria here, and actually. As you start going into and after inside her body, so to speak, it will disappear. Let me just show you how that works. It will disappear from the belly because now that object is within her and only be projected up here, right? So this only works if the cage is outside and wraps around your character. We then project everywhere you put this it projects exactly where you put it it's very very impressive the way it works uh, i have to say i'm very impressed by this so that was that now having that said i the next thing i thought about okay we have this milky effect here oh, well cool let's go and do some color tints and well see now it works right so that is pretty cool now you can also adjust reflection strength if you want to high, high reflection or or little or very high or standard or whatever that would just project if you recall the uh, product page page here you can apply these effects or even several of them i'm going to show you how to do that and have them at different kind of materials if you will so going back to the studio, what I can do now is add an, another uh, decal effect. So I'm gonna choose the bra, and I'm gonna go back here and actually load another one. And now that it's loaded, I can go ahead and click on it. That's also a separate object, okay? I can scale it, move it, uh, rotate it, whatever you like, and put it on top of the bra so it surrounds the bra, and now it's up, the effect is now applied to the bra, which is very cool. So I can now choose a different uh, thing here. Maybe I can take Soapy here, right, and apply it to the bra. It's really cool, and I'm very impressed by how how many options this gives you uh, to, to play with. Uh, furthermore, you can obviously rotate it. That will then project more from the side, right? So, again, it's very, very impressive the way it works. All right, so let me go back. Um, now, the thing is, it has a lot of options here, foamy, you know, water, water kind of projects an even uh, looking thing all over. So this is more like if you have a water surface, right? But uh, if you want to play with these, it's better to use these here. Slimy milk, slime. These are awesome. Then you have these splatter effects. Um, and what's so cool also about this is that you can now, when you have it applied, you can go into your surfaces, all right, and actually adjust the opacity. So you can tone it down and blend it with the intensity that you want to have here, either really a lot or, or nothing, right? And what you also can do, obviously, is go into base color and change the color of it to red or something else. 
So I kind of would like to have more icons or colors. These color tints are a little bit too vague. I like more, uh, you know, direct colors as well. But it's very easy to go in here and just adjust them here like that. What you also can do, obviously, is use emission color to have these emit lighting, which is truly awesome. Now it becomes, um, now it becomes an object that illuminates. That didn't work out so well. Let me increase the passage. I think it's too. Uh, can't really see that one. Uh, there we go. We gotta turn off the double-sided light. There we go. Now it emits lighting as well and self-close and emits light. So you can have those alien slimy things that actually illuminate on their own, which is awesome. So I have to say, this is an awesome product that looks just freaking amazing. And it holds up at close range and looks really, really good. Uh, what it lacks at close range is obviously thickness. It's very flat looking. So the foam effects are great. But foam isn't flat, really, it's not flat. So I would love, um, I would love this to have some depth included. Because it just looks a little bit too flat to be that real at close range. But having that said, this is just freaking amazing. By the way, what you can do, we can obviously go into the surfaces of, of this, right? And actually apply the texture manually. So this is slime EOP, all right? And you can increase the bump. However, bump is just fake. You know fake depth so that although creates an illusion it's not really that you know uh, there is no real thickness i would love to have this with included you know um, normal maps or something that really projects out of the skin so having that said i really really like this product it's very versatile it gives you a lot of options you can apply this to any surface not just human uh, or figure or, or female characters or main characters you can apply it to props sceneries and all that so it gives you a lot of options so i think it's very very you know good value for it however the lack of um instructions in text or even video i think video would be best for this product and then that it really doesn't have real thickness and some other small tweaks but other than that truly amazing value so guys if you like this video you can go go ahead and click the link below get this product in the dash store um, thank you so much for watching hope you got some value out of this and i'll see you next time